Hi, um, my name is Mesmara. I'm Head of Mathematics in charge of Key Stage 5, and I'm going to talk to you about mathematics at Hayden 6 form. Okay, so the one thing we're actually really quite proud of is that last year, 82% of our students went on to study some sort of mathematics at uni. Uh, quite a few of those actually were studied pure mathematics. This is a very big number every year. Um, a lot of our students, because of the fact that mathematics comes into everything, um, use the knowledge that they learned from A level in uni. Um, and one thing also that we're very proud of is that every year a high proportion of the Hayden students that get into Oxford universities, a high proportion of those take mathematics at Hayden sixth form as an A level. So here we've got all um, our teachers in the maths departments that teach A level AS or further mathematics. Um, so you've got myself then and Miss Maher, and a maths and charity case stage five. You've then got Mr. Sager, Mr. Patel, and Miss Malik, and Miss Duncan, who teach statistics as well as pure. And you've got myself, Miss Manda, Mr. Kidd, who teach mechanics as well as pure. And then Mr. Tani, Mr. Tutil, and Miss Patel teach AS maths. Um, Miss Duncan and Mr. Kidd, Mr. Sager, and myself also teach the further maths. So how can you study mathematics at Hayden Sixth Form? So the first option that you have is AS Maths. So this is a three hours a week uh, as it's taken as a fourth subject with just one teacher. So that's the one nice thing about AS is that you have just one teacher compared to two. It is worth half an A level, um, and but it also supports with subjects such as economics, physics, chemistry, computer science, etc. At the end of year 13, you will be sitting two papers. One paper will be in pure mathematics, which will be two hours, um, but it is for 100 marks. And then you've got one paper in the applied part of math mathematics, which is proper statistics and mechanics. And that's for an hour and a half, an hour and 15, which is 60 marks. Okay, so here we have um, one of our current year 13 students. Uh, she was one of my students actually in year 11 um, and was more than capable of doing A-level maths, but she didn't want it to be overwhelming. Her. Um, so, but she has found it really helpful to continue her study and as well as be helpful towards her chemistry studies. So, the other option that you have in order to study A level maths is so it is an A, an A level in mathematics. Okay, so you've got five hours a week of lessons, and this is split between two teachers. Both of your teachers will teach pure, one will focus more on mechanics then afterwards, and the other will then teach you statistics. At the end of year 13, you've got two papers in the pure content, and this could be AS or A level, it's all mixed up. Um, they're two hours each for 100 marks. So 200 out of 300 marks are your pure content. Okay, we then also have one paper in applied mathematics, and this is your statistics and mechanics, and it's 100 marks altogether, um, and it's two hours for the, both of those. So here we have one of our current year 13 boys um he says that he chose a level maths because he always had a fascination for it um but he also found that when he came to hayden for the sixth form open evening he found it the most inviting which i was very pleased to hear he's also said that he uh, compared that it's a very popular subject in regards to university so it is a facilitating subject um and he's kept going at it in a level maths because it's even though it's been challenging he gets great support from his teachers um as well as the friendly atmosphere within his lessons and then we do have a third qualification that we offer which is the a level further maths okay so as it is an a level it is five hours a week but it is to be taken as a fourth subject 
Okay, and one of those subjects, one of your previous three subjects must be mathematics. So you cannot take further maths on its own without already taking an A-level maths. It is split between two teachers um, and you have a minimum of four papers at the end of year 13. Now, the reason why we say it's a minimum of four papers is because you can take more papers, and the, but they will just take the best ones for your scores. So the ones that you must do are two papers in core pure mathematics and the papers are an hour and a half each for 75, worth 75 marks. And then you've got a minimum of two papers in the applied mathematics part of it. Okay, so here at Hayden we teach decision, further mechanics and further pure. Now you, again, you have to take a minimum of two of those, but if you wanted, if you enjoyed all three of them, you can take all three at the end of year 13. We teach more than what we need to because the fact that we want to give you a broad curriculum and develop your understanding into even more mathematics. So what is the difference between A-level maths and further maths? Okay, so there are many good reasons to take further maths. Students taking further maths overwhelmingly find it to be enjoyable, rewarding, stimulating, and an empowering experience. For someone who enjoys mathematics, it provides a challenge and a chance to explore new and or more sophisticated mathematical concepts. And also, when you take further maths, the additional time spent studying um, the further mathematics course helps boost your A-level maths. It does make the transition from sixth form to university if you are looking at doing a maths based university course a lot more smoother because of the content that is taught in further maths is very similar to the beginning bit of your university mathematics. It also enables students to distinguish themselves as able mathematicians in their application to university and future employment. So just how A-level maths is an extension of your GCSE, further maths is an extension of the normal A-level maths. I would only ever suggest taking further maths if you enjoy maths, okay? If you don't enjoy mathematics, then you've got 10 hours of maths, which is why it's really important that you enjoy mathematics. So here we've got some quotes from our current further maths students. So we've got, uh, one of my year 12s, he chose further maths because he enjoyed it at GCSE. Um, but by he wasn't too sure what he exactly he wanted to do within engineering. So taking further maths left as many options as he possibly could before he decides towards the end of this year. And then we have our lovely year 13 student. Um, she chose because she loves how broad it is and how essential it is to understand and how the world works. Um, and she also appreciates how many doors it will open for her when it comes to unis and future careers. So it's not just about your lessons, we also provide extracurricular within mathematics. So we obviously provide support, but um, we also offer weekly or fortnightly revision sessions that you can just pop into, you don't need to stay for the whole session, uh, just so that you can get help on your homework or any revision. This year, for the first time, we offered a virtual tour of Amazon's Fulfillment Center and looked at how they use algorithms for their system. So we had a look and see to see how computing and mathematics coincide. And then every year, you will have an opportunity to sit the Senior Match Challenge, which is regarded very highly by UCAS when you are looking at doing your personal statements. We also offer a separate Girls Maths Challenge. Uh, we have speakers from all industries, such as programming, engineering, finance, sport, et cetera, that come in to talk to our students. We also pre provide preparation for Oxford universities through step and STEM courses. And we also have opportunities for students, if they wish, to take an additional maths A-level, which is a three-hour long paper at the end of 13. But it's no new content, it's just the more difficult stuff. So what skills will taking a mathematics AS, A-level or further maths develop? Okay, so you will develop your critical thinking, your logical problem solving. Okay, you'll also be looking at interpreting data and reasoning from that as well as looking at algebraic proof. So 
how to know if this is the right course for you. We're looking for people who love problem solving, work well in a team, enjoy maths and want to learn and try. What's really important is that you do have a growth mindset and that you don't give up easy. So here we have Dean Schlichter and as he says, go down deep enough into anything and you will find mathematics. Okay, and that's really important to remember is that mathematics comes up in every topic. So it's really important to keep that study going. All right, thank you. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email. Thank you. Bye.